Hey, what's up? It's Mike D here at cyberspaceyourplace.com. Yeah, that's right, Mike from Cyberspace. And uh, this is another episode of Mike D's Marketing Mix, and we're going to dive right into it. Actually, my goal today is I am actually uh, aiming to um, do some shorter videos, some shorter content for you. Uh, we usually keep them about 10 minutes. We'll see if we can get it in under that. And uh, trying to, in the words of Bill O'Reilly, you know, try to keep it pithy. Um, and maybe throw out some more videos to, for you. So anyway, what we're gonna talk about real quick in this episode is the highest compliment that a prospect or a client or a customer or a member can actually give you about your business. And it doesn't matter what you know business you're in, all right? This is the highest compliment. And you might think it's a referral, right? But it's, you know, you'd be close. And you know, in a parallel universe, the highest compliment a, a customer, a client, a, a member can give you definitely is a referral. Uh, but we're going to go on this side of the parallel universe and we're going to say, and I'm going to get my teleprompter here. My teleprompter is my, uh, my Galaxy Samsung. I got to get the 6, um, but you know what? I'm, I have like no sense of urgency of getting the Galaxy S6. I don't know why. Um, all right, but anyway, here, here's what I got. I wrote this blog post, so I'm going to use it here so I don't go off topic. We can keep this simple. Uh, you might think it's a referral, but it isn't. The highest compliment a prospect, client, customer, member can give you is for they can uh, for, for them to be educated all right i don't mean educated in the sense of their college education or their degrees or anything like that i just mean they're just they're educated so the first thing they're educated about is what you have what you're selling and listen i'm going to keep it simple right we work with um, a few different businesses in our company we work all the way from the restaurant industry to martial arts and fitness and all in between general contractors and electricians and plumbers uh, we kind of have fun. We like to kind of get a perspective on the, the whole small business world. But anyway, this applies to all, uh, every single business, all right? What you're selling in general, I don't care if it's as simple as food to it's as complex as home remodeling or in between of, you know, working with kids in martial arts studios. Um, they're just educated about what, about what you have, meaning they've done some homework. And based on their homework, doing their research, reading some reviews, Possibly, obviously, looking at your website, seeing what other customers have said, but also looking at how you present what you're selling on your website and your services. They're educated, and maybe they've even checked out some competition. But you know what? Your web presence, what you have out there on you, your word of mouth speaks louder, right? Uh, but also, prior to even getting to you, they're actually educated in general. They've taken some time to actually think about, um, you know, your your line of work. Now, they're not going to be an expert like you are but they've actually taken some time. They've gotten educated. They've at least make, made themselves feel competent. And what is competent? Competence leads to confidence. Remember that, competence leads to confidence. So they've, making them, they've made themselves feel confident and competent about what they're actually getting ready to buy. Now, sometimes this takes 10 minutes and sometimes it takes 10 months, depending on what you're selling. But stay with me here. You gotta figure out how your business really falls into this, all right? Um, they've taken some time to research. They've gotten they've gotten themselves uh, aware about what about your industry, and and basically, they're choosing to talk to you because you have passed some of the mental checkpoints that they put in their mind. Now again, sometimes it's short and sweet, three three steps, one step mental checkpoint to where they have like maybe ten mental checkpoints, but you passed. All right. So let's see. Then uh, number two, so they made like a small breakthrough, right? But it pertains to number one. They ended up with an aha moment. Now, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna tell you just the story uh, from my own business is a lot of times I've actually been told uh, when we're talking to folks that, you know, they learn more in five minutes of very succinct, direct, clear communication, talking with me as one of the owners about what we're doing, internet marketing, web development, mobile apps. They've got more, and some social media, they've got more clarity talking to me, and I'm not bragging, but hey, I'm, I, I can, it's my show. They've got more clarity talking to me in five minutes than they did talking to you know an expert for say five hours. And actually one of the reviews on our Google page is a gentleman we did a mobile app for. He was inquiring about our search engine optimization service, our web services, but he really wasn't ready. But you know what? I did my best to educate him about what was going on. And his review on Google actually said, hey, I use these guys for the mobile app. They're awesome for that. So again, shout out to Mr. Gordon. I use them for the mobile app. They're awesome for that. But you know what? I was inquiring about their search uh, marketing services, and Mike explained to me in five minutes what, what it took you know hours for a so-called expert to actually explain to me. So anyway, I um, I try to do that in my business. I want educated clients, educated prospects. So again, 
that you, you let your prospect have the aha moment and it can happen through putting out content or it can happen through your communication with them, right? Phone or in person. Okay, lastly, uh, and it, you know, see all, kind of, all these three points kind of you know, tie in together. They've become educated about you. So first they've been educated about your, what, what you're selling, right? Then they become, they had those aha moments where they're choosing to actually talk to you. And the final step of, the, of being educated is they actually become educated about you and your business, how you work by obviously checking your website, seeing your staff, whatever the case may be. But it's the last piece of the puzzle for, for this highest compliment is they've done their homework on you. They like you, they like your business, they trust you, and now they get it. So they're coming into your world totally educated. There's no, there's no mystery about what's gonna happen. They feel like they actually know you. So again, I really can't take all the credit for, uh, for this blog post or, thanks for my teleprompter there, I really can't take all the credit for this blog post or this video. Um, I do obviously a lot of research, I probably spend about I don't know, two or three hours a day just reading either a, a, a one of the books you know relevant to business, but also what's going on in our industry. And I happen to stumble upon a video by Gary Vaynerchuk, and um, you know he talked about that. He kind of mentioned where the highest one of the highest compliments anybody can give you is is to be educated about what you do. So because it's the most it's the best educated prospects that choose the best companies to work with, the best businesses to work with in that particular field. Right? Does that make sense? So uh, shout out to uh, Gary V for sort of helping that, you know, bringing that together in my mind because along the way, I feel like I've been doing this all along and if I can sort of interpret that to you as far as how you can make your prospects educate, I think that'll go a long way for you. So remember what the highest compliment is. The highest compliment is for you to have an educated prospect that turns to a customer client member and they're paying you the highest compliment because they get it. They know what's going on and they know you're the real deal. All right, it's Mike D, cyberspaceyourplace.com and reputationmarketing.ninja. This has been another episode of Mike D's Marketing Mix, and listen, we'll catch you on the next one. Talk to you soon.